Al J. Ford has a little bit of information about his uh, his mailings. All right, so uh, he says his first mailer he mailed a thousand. Yeah. Acceptance rate, uh, uh, I think that's seven to nine, uh, to Mountain Land. So he got three signed purchase sale agreements. One was landlocked, one was deep in the valley and un- unattractive, and the third, the grade was too steep, too Don't steep of a that. slope. Okay, Don't so the that. now the landlocked thing I can understand, right? If it's truly wow. landlocked. Uh, I may be out unless I can talk them down to 10 cents on the dollar. Mm-hmm. Uh, one deep in the valley, unattractive. So I mean, that unattractive piece of property, uh, Al J. Ford, to you, sounds like character. is Matt Forbes' favorite property. Yeah, like literally, if you had bought that, I probably would have bought that wholesale from you. Yeah. Sure. You know how you approach the landlocked? You approach it like my buddy used to approach his roofing jobs back in the day. He didn't want to do roofing anymore, so he doubled the price on every yep. job. And anybody who said yes, he'd be like, well, I got to do it. Well, I got to do it. Yep. So, like, you just look at that and you go, yeah, you want, what is it, 2000 Yeah, I'll give you 500 bucks. And if they say yes, well, you got to buy it. You know, because there you, you gotta go. Money. You got to buy it. It'll sell. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. I mean, Make a ridiculous offer on it. It'll Make sell. a ridiculous it'll offer on it. I mean, before it'll sell. Um, the third, the grade was too sleep, too steep of a slope. Again, is this sounds like a view? Is, it, it sounds like it a sounds view. like a view. It sounds like an opportunity for a home on stilts. It sounds like, I again, if I you can talk him down, what, what, whatever your offer was, I go back and break it into a quarter of that and just buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. There is a point where you can't refuse it. Look, he that guy knows that, that property sucks, right? It is what it is. Um, and you may think that property sucks, but that's just two people out of everybody. And there are people who will go pay for that, especially if you can go to the market. And let's say the market's $150 a month for six years. You can go to the market and say, hey, it's $110 or $125. For five years or six years because you bought it at a third of what the next one cost that quote you like there's a lot of love in those weird hokey properties and there's a lot of land investors who've been around a long time who will buy that stuff wholesale like i i wouldn't want to live there but that does not cloud my judgment on whether somebody else might want to live there i'm not going to pay full full price and full price is of course between 25 percent of the regular price right but if that guy thinks it sucks you know being like hey look i know i offered you you know whatever uh 800 bucks or 1100 dollars like look it's it's this it's that it's got this problem it 250 buy it i give you three you'll sell for 500 minimum yeah i mean you get you literally you get to do that the thing is you you've already sunk a thousand mailers into this Right. And so you might as well go low. And if they all say no, no problem. And if one of them says yes, you're going to recoup all those costs and go make money. So don't be afraid of that stuff. There's always money in front of you. There's every time a deal touches you, you know, you have an opportunity to make money on it. So don't just be so quick. Just like when we talk about over the last few shows, when people are like, oh, I don't work this county or I don't have money uh, to pay. Just look for a partner. Somebody, you know, put it out there. Hey, got a great deal. If you if you really truly offer them twenty five cents on a dollar, somebody's gonna fund that deal. Somebody's gonna want that deal. Don't yeah. just let it go. Yeah, I agree. I think there's meat on the bone there. It's not it's not perfectly wrapped up, right? Um, so you're not gonna pay regular price, but there's meat on the bone usually for that. And that's simple. It's uh, I listen. I I, I this property's on a very uh, steep slope. I know I offered this. Honestly, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I don't want to, I don't want it, but if you really want to let it go, I could, I, if you're really looking to get rid of it, I can pay you 250 bucks and, you know, take your and, wife out to dinner. Yeah. And, you know, and you, and then boom, you can't say no to that. Yeah. You can't I mean, say they, no to what they, they do. Well, yeah, you're saying, yeah, he can't say no. Yeah. 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 I mean, they don't, you know, not everybody sells, blah, 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 no, blah. No, no, you can't uh, say no if he says yes. 
Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> like if you had mailed it a thousand dollars, if it's four thousand is retail and you mailed it a thousand, and that property sucks, and so you end up buying it for two hundred bucks, two hundred dollars. Sure. And you probably sell it instead of four thousand. You probably sell it for three thousand. Well, you wholesale for a thousand, make eight hundred bucks. That's aggressive, but I like it. I like where you're at. <laughs> somebody who has a buyer's list and, and and knows that you know. Look at this. Plenty of people out there right now with buyer's list with people looking for property, yeah. and they're waiting for that. And now you're like, look at. I have someone who's just looking for that exact thing. They wanna they wanna have an incline because they wanna race their dirt bikes up. But I don't know. Make up right. a reason. Somebody wants it. Yeah, and for two hundred bucks, who cares? Yeah. Now if it was for, if it was uh, twenty thousand dollars, okay. Yeah, yeah then care, you care, right? That's real money. But two hundred bucks or five hundred bucks, something like that, whatever. Plus, uh, and you may not sell it in thirty. He'll, he'll buy you, it. Who cares? You may not sell it in thirty days, right? But what's the holding cost? You might sell it in thirty seconds. You might. Sell you it in might. 30 seconds. If you, you come might. on this show and you bought that property, I say go get that property for twenty-five percent of the twenty-five cents in the dollar. Come back this next show and sell it on our show. Next up, we have a. 1.5 acre landlocked property with beautiful trees. <laughs> There's no trees. But we own it 25% of 25%. On a, we, yeah. paid, we paid $1.37 for it. The guy paid us. He wants to, to buy it, it for two grand. 